What is up you guys, Nicola Maserati here. So if you guys saw it, my last tutorial was about 3D tracking and how to attach objects and text to your scene. But today we're gonna be talking about motion tracking and how to achieve that locked on stabilization effect. The same effect was achieved in the Beats by Dre Power Beats Pro commercial. Now the best way to achieve this effect is in After Effects, but I know a lot of people wanna know how to do it in Premiere. So today we're gonna to be learning how to do this in Premiere Pro and in After Effects. But before we get into it, let's run that intro. guys so like I said today I'm gonna to be teaching you guys about motion tracking in Premiere Pro and in After Effects but before we get into it if you guys enjoy this kind of content and you want to see more of it please make sure you subscribe and hit the like button below okay so if you're planning on doing this effect one of the things that I recommend doing is shooting fairly wide and also shooting in a higher resolution like 4k the reason being is that when we do this locked on stabilization effect it's gonna produce a lot of empty space within the frame and if we're shooting in a higher resolution like 4k we're going to be able to crop in without losing any quality. All right, so first we're going to be jumping into Premiere. So let's get into it. All right, you guys, so we are in Adobe Premiere Pro right now. And the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to create a sequence. Now, like I said, guys, using a 4K clip is something that you're going to want to do because we're going to be cropping in a little bit. We don't want to lose quality. So we're not going to create a sequence from the video itself because that's a 4K video. What we are going to do is we're going to go down here to the new item tab and we're going to click sequence and then we're at a 1080p sequence at 23.976. We're gonna click OK. Then we're gonna take our footage and we're just gonna drag that right in. Now we have our 4K clip in here. We're gonna to wanna to set a couple things up in our toolbar. Now, as you can see, I already have it set up here, our show rulers and show guides. If you don't have that in there already, you can just go to this plus sign and you should see it just here. You then take the show rulers, drag that down, take the show guides and drag that down, click OK, and those should be there. Once you have those in there, we're gonna click those right on. Now, if you don't have those guides present, when you click show guides, what you can do is you can right click on the clip and go down to safe margins. What we can do is we can go to that very left side of the ruler and drag that right to the center. We're then gonna take the top and we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna drag that right down. So now our guides are at exact center. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna crop in. Now what you wanna do is you want to position whatever you're trying to focus on in this center area right here. So if I crop in a little bit, I'm going to bring this up. Now you can see one of the problems we have already here is that we have this black bar. Now we can easily solve this by just creating some cinematic black bars, but we don't really want to deal with that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to crop in even more until we lose those. And the cool thing about this is that we can crop in all the way to 100 without losing quality because we're using a 4K clip. Now I'm going to position it to where the center meets just the bottom of her chin. So I'm just going to bring this down here and bring it over just a little bit just like that. So that's gonna be the point that we're gonna to try to focus on this entire time. From here, you're gonna to wanna to go to your effect controls and you're gonna to wanna to click the scale keyframe and position keyframe. So that you have those keyframes set, you're just gonna to wanna to go back to your sequence and you wanna move forward, I say probably between two and three frames. It really just depends on how much your subject is moving. So if I go forward two frames, now we're gonna reposition our video so that lines back up to that point that we set originally. You're gonna click back into your sequence, go forward a couple frames, and then line that back up. And you're just gonna repeat this over and over again. And keep in mind, it doesn't have to be absolutely perfect, but if you can find a point to really focus on, like I could have done the tip of her nose, but I didn't wanna crop in too much. But if you can find a specific point, maybe a nice point where there's a little bit of contrast and you know you can hit every single time, that's going to be the absolute best point that you can do. But let's keep going here. We're actually going to adjust this just a little bit. Go back to our sequence, hit forward back here. Do it again. Now she went up a lot. So we're only going to do two on that one. Stop it there, just so we can kind of get an idea of how it looks here. We're gonna turn off the show rulers and the show guides, and then we're gonna turn off the safe margin so we can see. And now I just did it, uh, I mean, I think we probably have, ju yeah, just about a second there. So you can see how it perfectly follows her face because that center point is on her chin. It's super easy, super simple to do. It just takes a little bit of time. Yeah, guys, that is it for the Adobe Premiere Pro section of this tutorial. All right, now that we've learned this in Adobe Premiere Pro, we're gonna jump into After Effects where we can achieve the same result with a little less work. All right, guys, so now we are in Adobe 
Adobe After Effects and we're gonna get started. So the first thing we wanna do is create a new composition because remember, we're working with 4K footage, but we're gonna end up cropping in. So we wanna make sure we don't lose any quality. So we're just gonna go to new composition, comp one, we can just call it woman running and it's 1920 by 1080. The frame rate is 23.976, click okay. And now we have our new composition. Now we're gonna take that same footage and we're gonna just drag it right down here. Because we're using a 4K clip and a 1080p composition, this is gonna be cropped in a bit. So we're gonna to need to scale this down. So what you can do is make sure that your footage is selected, hit S on your keyboard, and then type in 50. And that'll scale it right down to where it needs to be. The next thing you wanna do is find a point to stabilize with. I'm gonna use her eye because it's a high contrast point and it's pretty much right in the center of her face. So what you wanna do is make sure your clip is selected and then we're gonna go over here and find the tracker tool. If you can't find it, all you need to do is go to window, go down and make sure tracker is selected. Now you're gonna choose stabilize motion. And as you can see, it brought up a little tracking point here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take that and we're gonna drag this up all the way to her eye. Now this first box that's here is in just the dark part of her eye. What we want to do is we want to make it a little bit bigger so that we're seeing the actual contrast between the darks and the whites of her eyes. So if I just expand this a little bit, you can see a little bit more white with the dark. The second box, we're going to stretch out to help the tracker understand the area that we're tracking a little bit more. So I'm going to bring it actually right the way up just like that. So it's a nice big tracking point. You see the darks of her eyes, the whites of her eyes in the first box and the second box kind of going almost all the way up to her eyebrow. So in the tracker panel, there's a couple different options here. We've got position, rotation, and scale. For this, we're just gonna work with the position. If for some reason it doesn't wanna work, then I would choose scale next, but it really depends on your footage. The more that you choose, the more tracking points that it's gonna bring up to make sure it accurately tracks. So like I said, the position option is gonna be perfect for what we're doing, but depending on your footage, you may have to try these other two. So now from here, our footage is selected. Now we're gonna hit analyze forward. And we're gonna watch it do its magic. So as you can see, the tracking point is going completely off of what we're trying to track. So if it does that, that means you need to adjust what's in focus here or what's in the center here. So I'm gonna delete these motion trackers. We're gonna go back to our footage. We're gonna hit stabilize motion and we have a new tracking point. I'm gonna bring that here. We're gonna make this box a lot bigger and then we're gonna make this box a little bit bigger as well. So we have some nice contrast points. So now we're gonna hit analyze four with just the position checked and we should be good to go. All right, so there you go. We are done with the track. You can see these little motion arcs that show the directions in which she's going. So now from here, all you need to do is hit apply and then click OK. Now you're going to see it do its work. So you can see what's going on here because we've created this sort of uh, stabilized frame right around her eye. You can see the stabilization at work here and it's creating a lot of this empty space. This isn't a big deal. This is something that's easily fixable. And because we're using a 4K clip, we're going to be able to crop in and not lose any quality. Quality. So if you make sure your clip is selected, hit S on your keyboard and we're just going to crop in a little bit and then we're going to hit P on our keyboard for the position and we're going to adjust the position and you may have to mess with it a little bit. You can see it's kind of still going out just a tad. And there we go. It is completely stabilized. We were able to crop in with that stabilization happening, not lose any quality because this is a 4K clip and it looks great. All right, guys, that is it. Let's get back to my face. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you learned something from it. If you did, please make sure you subscribe, like, and comment down below. All right, guys, see you in the next video.